Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with the word for today. And the word for today is watchmen. God has called each of us to be watchmen. Each one of us has a responsibility to stand our watch. Each one of us has a responsibility to see what the Lord will say. Each one of us has a responsibility to say what the Lord gives us to say. Each one of us has a responsibility to give people the warnings that the Lord has given us. It's a scary thought to think about being responsible for someone spending eternity in torment. It's an even scarier thought to think about being held accountable because I did not warn someone. It means I can't fall asleep on my watch. That means I need to be disciplined. I can't allow the fear of man or the fear of rejection to stop me from giving the warning. I can't allow knowing that some will listen, but some will refuse to listen to stop me from giving the warning that God gives me to give. I can't bury my head in the sand. I can't not watch. I can't not listen. I have cannot expect to get away with not doing it. I must be intentional about standing my watch. I must be intentional about giving warning. I must make sure that I've heard, that I speak, that I give warning at the right time, that I give warning in the right way so that it may be received, and I must give the warning with the right heart attitude. So what is the right heart attitude for giving a warning? I, I think there are two qualities that are necessary. I think the heart attitude of love needs to be the primary motivator. That I'm doing this because I love people, because I want to help them be who God's made them to be, do what God's made them to do. I think the second heart attitude needs to be the heart attitude of humility. And this needs to be a motivator that I, I'm not... Uh, giving the warning because I think I'm better or uh, whatever. I mean, there's that scripture that says, take heed, uh, thinking if you think you stand, lest you fall. Let's, let's give the warning in humility. And I think that makes it a lot more palatable for people. Thinking about being a watchman that will be held responsible for giving a warning changes the way I think about what it is that I'm doing. Now I got to think about paying attention, not just to uh, what's going on in my life, but to what's going on in the times, what's going on around me, and not get complacent because I know where I'm going. Just because I know I'm going to be with the Lord, I can't become complacent about paying attention. I must pay attention to the Word and not just for myself. I must pay attention to the Holy Spirit and respond in obedience without debate, without resistance, and not just for myself. This means I'm going to have to live a more disciplined life. This means I'm going to have to practice the Christian disciplines more. Now, the Christian life is not about self. Let's settle it. The Christian life is about serving others. Let's be the watchman. The word for today is watchman. God bless. Check in tomorrow.